highly recommend making an elementary school dance playlist. everybody welcome to another vlog it is tuesday morning and i'm headed off to go get my eyebrows microbladed and i thought i would like take you with me probably not gonna film much in there but just sort of give you my thoughts on the process it's something i've been thinking about for years like years and years and years i'm really glad i'm waiting until now to get it done as opposed to when i originally wanted to get it done in like 2015 or 2016 when everyone started doing it and it was just like a block of color now i feel like there are much more options available for you and what i'm getting done is called nano brows so it's like i think it's a machine and it makes like tiny hair like strokes and it's much more of like a natural effect and so i'm going to a place in downtown la today to try it out i'm a little nervous because they had me fill out an intake form and i didn't realize that your results can vary if you're anemic which I am. So that's something I didn't think about and I didn't know, but we're just gonna hope for the best. All of my tattoos have always been fine, but I know it's different on your face. So we're just gonna go through it together. If you're also anemic like me, if you've also been curious about microblading, I have my brows filled in and I have like um, clear brow gel this morning, just cause I wanted to sort of show her like what I do and give her a little bit of an idea of what it is that I want. But yeah, I'm gonna just see what happens. Keep it really light and natural. We'll get into it more like later in the video um, with the healing process and stuff because it's actually pretty intense. I had a microblading appointment booked for last like January or February and I ended up canceling it like a few weeks before. I got cold feet, I chickened out and the healing process is really intense but we're doing it. Like I already paid my deposit, I can't get it back so we're just gonna go for it. So that's what we're doing. I'm heading out now. I figured I'd show you my little outfit of the day. Here is my little fit. I have this thrifted shirt on. It's kind of like a little off the shoulder sort of like boat neck moment. I think I thrifted this from a store called St. Vincent de Paul here in LA. And then I've got my Amazon men's camo sweatpants on that I absolutely love. I just want to be really comfortable because I think I'm going to be laying there for like close to three hours or something like that. Not looking forward to it, but whatever. And then I have my yellow Onitsuka tigers that are so comfortable. The Mexico 66 is the style. I actually found these on Madewell because they were like really sold out for a long time. And then I have Drew's sweatshirt to throw on top in case I get chilly. This is an Iron Maiden sweatshirt that we actually found in Tokyo. So I'm gonna grab some glasses because I need to drive. I'll go with the black Garth Alvard glasses. A lot of people, especially when I have like my curtain bangs, a lot of people mentioned that these glasses are like Garth from Wayne's World, which I couldn't agree more with. Like you're absolutely correct, but that makes me love them more. I've got my Eras tour bag packed up and ready to go. I have my eye, what are these called? I always forget. I almost said iMax. AirPod Max headphones um, because I learned recently that if you have Spotify premium, it includes audiobooks. And I've been reading my book, Love in Other Words, and I'm like 77% done or something like that. So I'm not sure if you're allowed to like have headphones and listen to anything while you're getting it done, especially with those big headphones. I'm not sure, but I have it queued up just in case. Got my purse. I brought a little snack. I brought a water bottle. I also have this for the car. And I think we're good to go. So let's head downtown and get these brows painted. All right, just stopped for some gas and now I'm headed into downtown. I should be there about 10-ish minutes early and I have to find a place to park. So hopefully everything will work out fine. P.S. I was just listening to my audiobook and I hate it. I don't think I have no hate to the voice actor or whatever for that audiobook, but I can't do it. It was, yeah. So anyway, we will uh, just sit there, I guess maybe chit chat, maybe that'll be easier too. Plus with those big headphones, I don't know if they're gonna be able to like get to my eyebrows. So we're just inching up towards downtown now. So I will check in with you, I guess, after I'm done. Uh, I'm nervous, but I'm really, really excited too. So let's do it. 
All right, just parked. I found a street spot not too far away, which is good. We're gonna get a last look at these brows. My eye just twitched, hopefully you didn't see that. Before they're brand new. So let's do it. All right, here we are almost three hours later and this is what the brows are looking like. They look so similar. I wish I had taken before and after pictures, but I know Shaughnessy did, the person who did my brows. Um, She was incredible. She had the most just like gentle energy. She was so kind. I'm so glad I did this. Like, look at that. That's my brows. That's just what they look like now. It's so natural looking. I can't get over that. Okay, that's a little close up to my skin at the moment, but um, I have my aftercare instructions. So I'm gonna follow these to the T. It's gonna take about, the full healing process is about six to eight weeks. Cause it's like, it starts getting bolder and then it gets lighter and then it kind of like mellows out in the middle over the course of the next few weeks. But I am so glad I did this. I had a great time. So now I'm gonna head home and I'm gonna try to beat traffic. It's just before 2 p.m. So things are gonna get a little congested on the old freeway, but I feel great. I'm so, so glad I did that. Oh, pain wise, by the way, towards the end after the numbing cream started wearing off, I would say it was like a two out of 10. The rest of the time it was a one. It hurts way more for me to get my brows plucked like then to do that. Like I would rather do that any day. At the moment, it feels slightly, like again, one out of 10, two out of 10. Um, like, like I have a little bit of a sunburn or something, but I'm just so glad I did that. I can't believe I waited so long. Like this is what my brows are gonna look like just all the time. I'm dead. I'm in love. <laughs> It is the next day. We are gonna ignore how crazy my hair looks. It may not look that crazy, but it looks crazy to me. Anyways, it's now Wednesday morning, and so far, so good with the eyebrows. It's been, I guess, almost just under 24 hours since I got them done, and like, they feel fine. Here is what they're looking like at like 24 hours. I just can't get over how good they look. I was walking outside this morning, as you saw, we went for a little coffee run because Drew was out of his coffee pods. So we decided to do a little coffee walk, obviously like very slowly, because I can't sweat for two weeks. Um, and gotta have the sun protection as well. So I had this hat on and then I had like big sunglasses, but um, it's been fine. Like the healing has been great so far. I can't remember if I said this yesterday, but um, you can schedule a touch up after like eight weeks, I think. Um, anywhere between two to six months you can schedule like a touch up in case you want it like darker, bolder, whatever. So I may end up doing that, but I may not need it. Yeah, now I have a few errands to run this morning. I have an Amazon return that I have to make that today is the last day. It's been sitting in the trunk of my car for literally like weeks now. So I need to go do that. Oh, forgot to mention that I'm wearing my Queen Elizabeth II hat. This is the most iconic thrift find ever. Uh, well, I found it at the Rose Bowl Flea Market. And if you know, you know, the QE2 was a crucial part of the parent trap. But yeah, I have to run and make a return, actually a couple returns. So I'll have to run to the post office and UPS. And then we also have a new rug coming today for the living room and I'm so excited. I've been waiting so long. Anyways, that's the rundown for today. You're gonna come along with me, live my day with me. And um, yeah, this is me just having rolled out of bed and threw some clothes on. I got my blue bottle. Oh my God, I <laughs> I hate being an adult sometimes. We got our blue bottle and I took a sip of mine and I was like, wait, I think I got yours, but they told me that that was the decaf and there was no way to know. So basically they just got our orders mixed up. I always get decaf and you can't taste the difference between decaf and regular. So we had to go back and be like, I'm so sorry, I think these got mixed up. Is there any way like we can get new ones? And they were like very, very kind about it, but I was really brave and I did it. But that is like literally the worst. If you're a barista, can you please let me know if that's like a horrible thing? Cause I, it's the hardest thing to do in the world. And I know as long as you're nice about it, it's fine. But I mean, it was kind of their mistake. Anyway, I'm done blabbing. Oh my God, the yapping is out of control today. Let's go run these errands. I've been literally putting it off. It's been on my to-do list every day and I've moved it to the next day. 
every single day. So let's just get it over with. It takes two seconds. All right, it's much later now. It's about 3.30. Drew's just getting off of work. And I just finished editing and uploading, scheduling an entire vlog. So I'm glad I got that done. Definitely like a computer work kind of day. And I got two packages, one from Anthropology and one from Free People. I already opened them, but I thought I would show you what I got because I'm excited about it. So this Anthropology one, it came in like, a, I placed one order. If you remember like a few vlogs ago where I showed those green lacy shorts, that was in this order. I also have a pair of pants that's coming in this order. Like I've ordered all of this stuff at one time. It's just coming like one by one because everything's like back ordered. But I got this pair of boxers. These are so cute. I got them in their plus. Um, it's a size 1X. It is a little bit big, but that's fine. And I think these are gonna be so comfy for around the house. And I would also totally wear these as an outfit. So I'm gonna try these on. And then I've been getting a little more into free people. Although number one, it's insanely expensive. And number two, it's not size inclusive at all. But some of their stuff goes up to an XL. And some of that is true size. Some of it's actually oversized. And I saw Chloe Alexandria on Instagram talk about these pants. So I immediately bought them, of course. And they're so cute. They're like a stretchy, flowy pant. So we're gonna try these on. And maybe I'll wear these this afternoon because actually, probably like a few hours ago, our friends, Josh and Noel, text us saying that they wanted to grab some coffee. And we were like, heck yeah. So they're definitely like afternoon coffee people and we're just there for the vibes. So we're gonna go to a coffee shop and then maybe do like a little happy hour patio situation afterwards. But first, we'll try these on and then maybe I'll wear one of them this afternoon. Okay, first here we have the boxers. These are so cute and so comfortable. I love these. I don't think I'd be able to wear them out and about again for like chafing purposes. I feel like with a lot of shorts, unless they're down to here, they're just not gonna work. So these will definitely be like a lounge around the house type of short, or if I wanna carry around like a chafing product or something, but like with some loafers and like obviously a different top. This is just what I was wearing under my sweatshirt, but so, so cute. And then the pants, pulling them up, I'm like, they look like they're my size, but I don't know. We'll see. Okay, never mind. These are literally a perfect fit. These are like my exact size. They're so comfortable. They're like kind of a linen type of blend, but not super soft, but also really comfy at the same time. There's, oh, just kidding. There's fake pockets, but how cute are these? These are so different from what I would usually wear, but with like an oversized sweater or something. I think these would be really cute. I would also totally wear these tonight. I am gonna have to wear my hat still because anytime I go outside, we're gonna be walking around a lot. Anytime I go outside, I have to wear a hat for the next like two to three weeks. So you're gonna be seeing lots and lots of hats on me. And obviously I can't wear any makeup around the area either for the next like two weeks or at least like 10 days. So I can only really wear makeup on the bottom half of my face and normally I wouldn't. It's how you can always know that it's an it's how you can always know that it's an Amazon truck because of that sound. But um anyways I probably wouldn't normally wear face makeup um if I didn't have rosacea. So I'm thinking something like this maybe with like a white tank top and some cute little sambas or something. Might be cute and then I'll throw a little sweatshirt or I might just do jeans tonight. Like jeans in a classic white tank, you really can't beat. And then I'll throw like a sweater over my shoulders or something in case it gets chilly later. But I'm super happy with these. So, so cute. All right, just got out of the, took a quick shower, shaved my legs, did go for the jeans look because I totally forgot that I'm actually gonna be um, filming those free people pants for a main channel video. So I decided to go for like a very, Britney Spears circa 2003, maybe six type of outfit. I have this little white tank top on that I got at the Reformation sample sale, the one that I went to last year. I've got my little Amazon Tiffany's necklace dupe. I have my cute little hoops, got the same hat on from earlier, and my good American jeans and these shoes that Drew got me for Christmas, like two years ago, something like that. And then I'm just gonna bring a little cardigan, or what is this, a little sweater, just in case. In case it gets chilly later, it might. It's like everything changes when the sun goes down. So we shall see. And that is the look. And then I got my sunnies. So 
so I can cover up the brows. Fantastic. Cheers. Cheers to my little cup. Cheers. Stage mom. <laughs> Celebrate. Woo! We're here with our friends. Yay! We're celebrating. They had like a big fun thing that happened today. So we're celebrating and Josh got an entire pineapple filled with pina colada. And it comes with a sidecar. So we're living large. Just walked out of the bathroom and casually there's like this hole in the wall, and I was like, what is this? That's the pool! Alexa and I were here for her birthday back in August. What would you do? And we were in this pool! Right I would actually <laughs> shit my pants. <laughs> Alright, we're home. It's 7.30. Drew's dancing. Mm -hmm. His 1.5 cocktails had him like... Um, I had two full cocktails. <laughs> we're actually making dinner now, which feels extremely late. I would I'm say that's like breakfast. a normal... <laughs> <laughs> it's like a normal dinner time for most people. For us, this is like the middle of the night. So um, I'm doing some leftover pork. Oh, I'm so mad. Oh my god. And I'm gonna make it into a, like a barbecue pork quesadilla. Cause I'm trying to use up some of the pork and then I'm gonna put it in fried rice for lunch tomorrow. And then Drew is making mini pancakes, eggs, and hash browns, right? Yeah. Sounds amazing. That's what's on that's what's on the menu for dinner tonight. But our rug did finally arrive while we were gone. So I cannot wait to unroll that you in gotta, the living room later. It. You gotta sew it up. But I successfully hid my brows from any of the sunlight today, so I was proud of myself for that. But yeah, after dinner, it's rug time. <laughs> Alright, as much as it hurts me to do this because it is such a vibe in here at the moment. I do have to turn on the big light because I know it's horrible. Our rug arrived, so nothing wrong with this one. Um, it just, you know, it's time to rotate it out. We used to have to have ru uh, washable rugs. These are ruggable rugs. And we just, you know, wanted to switch it up, change the vibe a little bit. So let's do it. Oh, look how clean it is. Oh, Eight minutes, 24 seconds. <laughs> Slay. All right, here it is. Ignore all the blankets and stuff in the couch that needs to be like fluffed and made nice. But like, look how cute this is. I absolutely love it. It's so fuzzy. We got it for like half off. It's looking pretty cute in here. We got all of our lamps on. We have a lovely vibe going. And now this is like even cozier. I love the shag. Drew and I are both. So happy.